for so long, don't you know that? Let's do, just wanna ask you all if y'all wanted the unboxing of my camera to be separate. <laughs> my camera! It's Christmas! Well, I bought all of this myself. But if any of the companies are watching, you can sponsor the next one if you like. Hi. Ooh. This is the bone told me how to say it, like how the tech channels be saying it, and I forgot. Guys, this is a big day for us. I'm about to unbox the Canon T7. The one that the footage is currently running on. Get on the G7X. This one. Right here. Ugh, get me. Ooh. This was delivered October the 28th. I've been holding it, literally waiting. The reason I decided to go to Bundle Deal and there's lots of stuff in here. You have the creator kit, which only includes the camera, the roll mic, and then like the other Canon stuff. But this bundle has extra stuff in it. I'm the person that for the same price wants to get more. If you're wondering if warranties or if it's new and all of that, I do have Amazon Prime and so I always feel to my searches to give me new stuff. New. We want new stuff. I'm new new because I always ride. The new, new Thank you. Yeah. And because you're getting a brand new camera in the box, your warranty information is in here. Oh my god! <laughs> it's here! Okay, don't put your face on this. Germs, Disney germs. Oh my god! It's so, so happy. Like this, literally, it gets the job done. As you all can see, the Canon G7X does get the job done if that's what you want to use. If you're going to invest in only one camera, yes, get the G7X and get the newer ring light. If you don't want to invest in this entire kit all the way just yet because it's 849 And what I think will be beneficial to you guys if you're considering, I'm going to just buy the camera and get all the other stuff separately. All of this stuff comes in this kit for the same price that the creator kit was. I have the pop-ups on the screen and the prices of all of these items separately to show why it was good for me to get this in a bundle instead especially new stuff this isn't like somebody's old you stuff first thing i have here is the video mic go it's a lightweight on camera microphone this is the roll mic my quality from this point forward except for the old content that i need to edit or upload it's about to be so much better so on the top of the camera and this spot along the bottom of the roll mic slide that into there twist to tighten it you want to take this cord I think they're the same so you plug one in the back and then the other one goes over here where it says mic okay that's how you attach it to the top of your camera and it becomes your new mic I'm gonna open everything in separate zero. now when I do makeup tutorials like how I had to push up the door basically because when the heat comes on kind of like near me and you can hear that this mic is going to be closest in on top of the camera so the quality is going to be better i don't have a mic attached to my camera so this audio that you hear comes straight from the g7x this is the pro hd series four piece hd macro close-up lens kit so i think you have a plus one a plus two a plus four and a plus ten i think it zooms your lens in again this isn't a, a tech channel i'm giving you just my regular comprehension and understanding on what these items are but of course I'm going to do my research to put to use the fact that I purchased these things and they just come in a little fold out oh wow it's making me go like bigger and then smaller I'm just hold it up to the camera and see what happens I want to open one oh you would assume that this is going to be like plastic or something I see what people mean now I heard some YouTubers saying like oh it's not plastic it's glass is it nice wow plus four so basically it's going to zoom in four times for you But since it doesn't go to this camera, it's not going to do anything. You can attach this over the top of the Canon T7 I. I'm placing this marker on the floor in front of me. This is where one of the lens is on. Now I'm going to stand right here at the marker and untwist it. Oops, I dropped it. Okay. I didn't edit this clip and I'm still standing in the same spot. So that's what the four looks like. Here I have the Pro Series three piece digital filter kit. If I can find the prices, that's what I'm trying not to destroy my box. I'll have the prices for these items if you were to order them all separately compared to in the bundle. I think these are like little colorful ones. So yeah, one is clear. It's glass as well. This one has like a little purple tint to it. Most people do use these cameras for photography outside of just YouTube. This one is a little tinted. but I can't really tell what it's doing. We're just getting B-roll footage, so we're not judging me. All right, I'm gonna twist it off right here while I'm in front of it so we can see what happens. 
All right, so I'm taking it off. Oh, I think it makes it darker. Let's throw it on the light. Not as bright, maybe, don't know. We got SD cards, we got the little glow duster, we got all of it in this kit. You can definitely make your mind up on which kit you want and you do decide to get this camera, definitely go with like the bundle deal if you see that for the same price, just to have all of these things if you need them versus buying it separately. This is the little dust blower. If I need to clean anything as far as my camera, this will also come in handy for my MacBook. Sometimes in between the keys, it gets a little dirty. It just blows like this. It does particles, or if you're eating classic lays while you're editing like me, it'll kind of clean that up for you. I mean, not for the Mac, but, you know, for the camera that's right there that I'm so ready to open. Ooh, wee! This is the shutter. I was wondering if it was going to come with the one with a cord, or if it was going to come with one cordless, definitely cordless. I can kind of point this at the camera to either start recording or when I take my pictures by myself because I do a lot of that for my Instagram sometimes. Sometimes I'm lucky to have somebody to snap it for me. This is the little shutter remote. Like if you ever seen an Instagram and she acknowledges the fact that you can probably see this in her hand while she's taking her selfie or something, this is what she's talking about. Hold on because this kind of small. Put that right there. <laughs> my mom would be saying it. Put that right there. This is the card reader. You take this. I guess my videos are longer because I like to explain. Some of the unboxings I watch, they just show stuff they never say what it's for show it and tell me what it's for don't say this is the card reader see it to the side so this is the card reader and it supports sd micro sd windows compatible with all of that if i can get it out to show y'all when i finish editing my footage and i go to plug it into the computer i have one of these already so i'll probably give it to one of my sisters if they end up getting a macbook or whatever because you're going to need this because you know macbook is reducing and simplifying everything so you only have those two little usb receive on the side since it's smaller I would take this and I connect it to the um, attachment thing I can't think of the name of that little thing I purchased that goes with my MacBook right you plug that in and it has the USB-C on the other end and then this has all of your different slots for SD cards that's how you edit since you can't plug this directly into the computer anymore so then this thing basically loads up and while I'm at iMovie I can import all of this b-roll footage that I'm currently filming just to have pop-ups in this video it's just taking a while to load but you get the point. Look at all this upcoming footage I gotta edit. This is the SD card. These are the ones I use. The only brand of SD cards I use is SanDisk. This one is the 32 gigabyte. The one that's in my vlogging camera because my footage piles up on me so much is the 128 gigabyte one. It holds a lot of minutes. But since I only be using this one for my beauty videos, as long as I'm like filming and getting right off and I stay on top of it without it piling up, I probably could get away with 32, but I'll probably end up getting another card. You want at least a 64 if you're using some of this stuff I don't know what it is without looking at the description but some of it I do know this is like a cleaner I don't want to smell that. Why do we smell chemical cleaner basically on that side and then this is a little duster that you can kind of dust the camera off with. I can probably use it to get that makeup out of the thing on my phone right here. I don't think I'll be wetting my camera up but, but if you had to I guess you could use something like that. This is the 50 inch tripod. I did get this other one. Sometimes you just need for different types of scenarios you need different tripods. I know y'all are like why she have more than one. Commander and it does have a nice little baggie. I like stuff with baggies. You can move stuff around better than holding this in my hand if I gotta go somewhere. Like when my mom invites me to her school and she's like, oh yeah, bring your camera. I can move my stuff around easier. Pretty durable tripod. Thinking about investing in the Manfrotto, but this will definitely get the job done. They do have the little part right here where you can screw cameras onto it. These are universal. Pop these legs out and it expands that tall or let it back down and so it shrinks basically down to the same size as this so now i wish i wouldn't have bought this one but i ordered this way before i ordered the whole kit so either way i still got it if me and my sister filming at the same time she could use that one i could use this one we good 50 inch tripod and it lays all the way down to tabletop size if i need to sit it right here on my vanity digital slave flash so the camera does have a flash on it but this one is just like an extra additional type of flash that i see when people do photography this definitely comes in handy for that you can attach this to the top of the camera it says that it uses two aa batteries that are not included most times if i just cut on my vanity or the ring light and i take my pictures in the house i won't too much need this but i have it just in case and it does have the attachments and everything inside of here that you will need I'll do some more research on that if I do want my pictures to look even more even more better i think i said that right yeah even more better 
Commander Pro HD Series 58 millimeter autofocus wide angle lens. And this is for photography as well. So I don't think I could attach this for filming a video with. I'll find out what it will look like from that to this. Wide angle, pretty much. This video gonna be so long. Oh my goodness. Do I have two of them? Did they give me two? Okay, wait. No, I don't think you get two. They gotta be different. This bag is nice too. I love when stuff comes in nice sturdy bags to put it away in. Can we get to the camera next? Give me. Man, I got a lot of cleaning up to do. Attach this onto your camera, the 0.43x wide angle lens. All right, so I have it on the camera. Don't know, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> don't know if I have this on here correctly. This is one of the wide angle lenses. I'm going to stay right here where I am. I'm going to untwist it. Oh, wow. A wide angle, sis. 58 milliliters, millimeters. I'm going to learn how to use this stuff. Okay, this is the 2.2 autofocus telephoto lens right here. Okay, same thing again. Same spot with the camera. It's already zoned out. Now it's on. I don't know how this works. It's putting like little borders around me. Oh, so the borders are around me until I zoom in to where they aren't. So I guess I would use this for maybe an eyebrow tutorial. I think. I think we're down to the last thing before we get to the camera. Oh my God, I see more stuff. No, we're not. All right. This is a, oh, I'm dropping stuff that I ain't even show yet. This is a strap for the camera. Like I said, my camera is new, so there's gonna also be a strap in there. But if I would like to have this sort of wrist strap instead, this part is really nice and cushiony, so your hand won't start hurting from the heaviness of the camera. This part twists onto the bottom, and then the camera will be right here all attached, and I can, like that, filming. Picture the camera sticking out right there. ACDC turbo charger, it's a travel charger. So this goes in the car, and I can plug that in to this portion. So say for instance, I just finished filming a makeup tutorial, and I need to take this camera with me the other battery ain't really charged up yet y'all know how y'all be getting on me when my battery dies it just comes with this additional one come in and tell me if you all know which country this is cool you plug this in or if i need to take it with me in the car boom the camera's charging by the time i get the real lobster it'll be full charge i need to invest in that for the g7x this is my baby this is my new baby i have a baby now i don't know what i'm gonna name her she was born after, no I'm kidding. See my bag. If I ever need to take my camera with me somewhere, I feel better about having something to put everything in. So the camera will go here and then everything else that I showed you all, you can basically kind of just put all this stuff in here, zip it up, feel safe and secure about not breaking anything. Destiny says, you don't want to break any of this. Ratchet Destiny says, all this stuff was $8.49. You don't want to break none of this. Okay. The bag, I got a spot on the side, another slot on this side. Put it on like a little backpack, carry my tripod. You know why I'm here. I've been wanting you for so long, don't you know that? You gotta understand to understand, okay? I will not say that these books are not important because most questions that people ask, hey, what is your camera set on? What is this? What is that? Blah, blah, blah. Everything you need to know about working your camera instead is all of that is in this book. is definitely important. The T7i is also called the EOS 800D. It just depends on where you live, what people usually call them. Stick little book. If you don't want to read this, uh, YouTube is also another option. This is your registration. Boom. If y'all are curious as to whether I can register my camera or not. Yes, this is a new camera. It comes in this cannon box and I can register it. Gonna sit that somewhere safe. Even though I've never had my stuff break on me, but this need be what it looks like inside. Y'all don't even care. You just wanna see it. It's the battery. I'm gonna order an additional battery just because it's good to have two of it. If you do make up for an idea, my battery ends up dying on me. By the time I get to the step of doing like the lashes, your finishing touches, I'm trying to put on my highlights, set my face, do my lip combo, all of that. I don't wanna finish none of that off camera. I wanna finish it on camera, so swapping out the battery definitely helps. I think this might take the same battery as the, the one my sister has. I have to ask her, it looks like it though. When it comes to my tech stuff, I like to use the actual brand. I don't like to switch in and out of generic. So I'm gonna get an additional Canon battery. This is the lens, this is the kit lens. Most people talk bad about the kit lens, but kit lens, He's gotten me far. Also, I do want to put it out there. Like I said, my brother, I think he got the T5i, T3i, T6i, one of those. I moved out, so I wasn't able to use that camera anymore because I can't bring it with me because it ain't mine. Even if he said that I could, I'm the type of person. I got to have my own. This is the lens. And 
it didn't fall far. It landed on the box. Okay. So yeah, this is the kit lens. And you just squeeze it. I can't, oh, I have to get them mixed to do it. Squeeze these two together and then boom. And that's what those other little lenses that I have can go on top of this. We got the strap that can hang around my neck if I want to take it out with me somewhere. This plugs into the wall and we have that extra one. I'm actually about to plug the battery up since I want to film some videos with it. There's a cute little case too as well you put over that. Keep it from getting dirty, dusty, wet, whatever. Sometimes when you watch vloggers and there's little things in their background, that's what it is. Their camera charging. And it'll go from yellow to green once it's charged. It's the camera. Get me close. Here she is. The T. Oh my god, it feels so good. This is the Canon T. <laughs> hey, oh my god. It feels light. Well, I don't have the lens on there yet. So, the same way that my G7X basically can flip up, which sometimes you see my eyes do this. I'm looking up to make sure it's still running. It is the reason that I like a camera like this. Like, they have the ones without the eye on the end. It may say T3, T4, T7, but it doesn't say I. Your screen will not twist around like this, even if you see that it's cheaper. So if that's important to you, you might want that. I'm also going to download the EOS Canon Utility to show me myself bigger and all of the settings right there on my laptop. I can turn this around and it's just really nice. If you're curious about the differences between the T5 or the T6 compared to the T7, the one that I know off the top of my head is Wi-Fi capable. Amongst a few other things, but like I said, this isn't a tech channel. You have to go and watch the videos that I watched to help me make my decision. But I can't reiterate none of the stuff that they said. You just gotta go find they, you know, cause that's what they do. That's what they do. I do makeup and hair, mostly hair. So, mm. oh my God, one more thing from Sephora to show y'all. See this little white dot right here, the white part right there. You want to line those up like this put it in there good twist till it clicks boom now it's attached and then i use the just sit these to the side when i'm filming and put everything back when i'm done i want to go ahead and get the camera set up i know y'all don't want to want to watch me go through the date the time the country all of that you pop that out for the camera on this side on the side of the camera and then the battery is underneath the bottom as far as my road mic, that's going to go on the top where my audio is about to sound oh so luscious and oh so good. This might be vlog style. I wish I could hold it for vlogmas, but y'all will kill me if I waited four weeks to upload this. I'm not the type of person that throws my instructions to the side. It's only so much that YouTube can show me. I know my videos end up being longer sometimes, but it's because I try to be super detailed. Just because in my mind, I know the questions that I always get on the regular. So I'd be like, let me show you. I'm more of a show you instead of tell you type of person i'll keep everything as is and we'll conclude the video on this one with the mic hopefully if y'all don't hear no audio it mean i ain't put the mic on right okay so they're good okay let me let this down okay so i have on the canon t 7i now. I need to adjust my settings. It's actually blinking. I need to adjust everything. It's currently on. If I can line up the audio and everything, I'll put these side by side. Right now, it's making y'all think that the T7X is better than this T7i. But I need to adjust everything. Like the ISO and all of that. Because I literally just cut it on. So you have to kind of manually do your settings to go with the ring lights and accommodate for all of that. It actually change the ISO and all of that to let more lighting in, but just turning my camera straight on. Hey y'all, so I'm Destiny. So hopefully if my mic is picking me up good, we're just testing right now to see it's set on manual. Should we do the unplug and plug it back up thing from the front now to see? You doing it from the back? If I unplug it with this in right in front of me, I could check to see if it's working or not. I don't want to think that that mic is attached to my camera this whole time and my audio ain't different. See what I'm saying? Or if I... But that don't mean it's on. That could just be the camera doing it. See?